Previously on Tunnel 10 Free to Play, we discussed why you should never wait on shields to attack. Today, let's get into some popular Town Hall 10 three-star attack strategies. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Joe. Welcome back for episode 43 of the Town Hall 10 Free to Play series. If anybody's ever told you that you cannot trophy push without your heroes, they are highly inaccurate. You can definitely do it. It just goes a little bit faster if you have your heroes. In the last episode, we did some Dark Elixir farming and talked about the shield system a little bit. And we got the Dark Elixir to put the queen back down to level 38. That hero grind, man, I'm telling you, it just sucks. But we did claim some serious trophies while we were going after that Dark Elixir. And as you can see here, well, we're going to get some free gems. We're going to go ahead and claim these 200 free gems. I like free gems. But let's go ahead and jump back up here. And you can see that I have pushed all the way up to 3737 and obviously lost trophies as soon as I logged out. But you have to stay online in order to claim those trophies faster, so to speak. But anyways, today's episode, we're going to talk about three of the top ground armies that you can use in Clam War, but unfortunately, I cannot use them yet because we don't have all the troops available to do them. All right, so I'm pretty sure you saw the low war star count on the profile screen in the previous clip. Try to keep in mind that this is a series account. I don't play this account like you would play your own accounts. I don't war all the time for loot, and I don't donate off of this account. We're trying to get this thing maxed out and show off all these different strategies. That way, we can move on to Town Hall 11 as quickly as possible. We're three months into this series so far and we're going to start out with the minor hog rider hybrid attack and one of the things about this strategy that i really feel is a necessity is the siege machines now if you cannot get siege machines make sure that you go back and check out episode 23 there was a lot of armies different armies that do not require siege machines in order to be successful but this video is going to be on the most popular ground armies in the game right now for town hall 10 that include the siege machines as well as the heroes so basically your full-on army now one of the things about this base q7 points out a major flaw on the base there is a hole in the middle of the base right next to this expo so as we click the expo, you will see that there's a hole exposed right underneath this queen's placement. And there's going to be a hidden Tezel in this location, but also with that, you can drop a troop in this place and pull whatever is inside the clan castle out. So we're gonna start out with a little bit of a queen walk down on the bottom side of the base. So step one is to drop a troop in that hole and pull the clan castle troops out of the clan castle itself, which happens to be a balloon and an electro dragon. So one of the more popular defensive clan castle troops troops. Queen's going to be placed down here on the bottom side of the base, and you're going to see something really cool from this queen. She's going to do a little bit of a dance move before she takes out the Electro Dragon. It's actually kind of cool. So queen with the healers, baby dragon off to her right to start clearing out some buildings to ensure that this queen goes towards the left side of the base because the miners and the hogs are going to come through that location over there. Poison spell dropped. The queen's going to take out the balloon before it arrives, and then a rage spell is going to be placed on this queen. She's going to do her little move. Can we see that move one more time? And then she's going to eliminate that Electro Dragon and continue on her walk. Now, that is her main focus in the beginning of the attack. The Queen Walk is your main focus. But on the opposite side of the base, we're going to drop a Barbarian King and the Siege Barracks. So it goes in phases, starting out with the Queen Walk, get rid of the Clan Castle troops, and then start funneling the opposite side of the base. We got a Rage Spell down on that Queen to eliminate that Barb King. She is going to lose healers because of that air defense. So Q7 is going to drop the King on the opposite side of the base with the Siege Barracks. Siege Barracks produces that P.E.K.K.A. and Wizards, and they're going to eliminate multiple buildings in this location before the Miners and the Hog Riders are placed. So pay attention to the timing between the two. The Queen Walk starts first, then the Barb King and the Siege Barracks, clearing out some buildings, and then the Miners and the Hogs are going to be placed on the base. Now notice that this Queen, the enemy Queen, is placed inside the base. So this is where the Miners and the Hogs go together. The Hogs target the defenses, the Miners target basically everything, but they will get distracted and eliminate that enemy queen before the hog riders arrive there are three heal spells in this composition the hog riders are coming in the miners are coming in and they're going to work their way basically online throughout the base the heal spells are used to keep these hog riders alive as well as the miners and you're going to notice that the queen is distracted on the hogs while the miners and the barbs from the barb king go in there and kill that queen Everything's going to basically move together. And then there's also going to be some level 10 hogs that are going to come from the siege barracks. 
So this also plays a role in the success of the attack since there are lower level hogs and then the higher level hogs and they're gonna sweep through this base taking out defenses while the miners clear out buildings like the altars and the storage collectors and stuff like that. And they're just gonna work their way all the way through the top side of the base while the queen clears the left side of the screen and the king is going to clear what was on the right side of the screen. But all there is left over there now is wizards. So this basically is one of the most popular armies right now and I have been unable to use it because I don't have both of my heroes available all the time. And you can see how much of a role the queen played in this attack. They're gonna go over on the opposite side, grab that final builder's hut, and then I'm gonna show you the army for yourself. That way you can try it out, but make sure that you have the same components that you saw in this particular attack. All right, so for our next attack, we're gonna take a look at the Falcon attack. And I just realized that Q7 is getting a lot of airtime in this video. That's quite unusual. Normally Elena hogging up all the airtime in the videos but it is what it is she did have some unsuccessful attacks this war with the hope attack and this same army so one reason i haven't used this army is because i have not upgraded my valkyries to level five and this also i don't really trust this army a lot of players or a lot of channels rave about this attack strategy but i do not feel that it is that reliable because valkyries target everything and they will kick on the outsides of the base bowlers will get wiped out really fast if you don't have a lot of the high hit point defenses taken down but we're going to watch this replay and see how it develops from q7 he does a phenomenal job of taking this base down but you're going to see the things that i'm talking about at the end of the attack and i will point them out once we get there so we got a baby dragon drop to clear out an army camp and we're going to start out with the queen walk and so if you don't know how to queen walk as a town hall 10 i would highly advise you learn how to do it because it comes into play on a lot of strategies as you move up into the higher town hall levels there's a lot of queen walking once you go from town hall 9 on so we got the same clan castle troops from the previous attack with the electro dragon and the balloon and this is where a lot of players feel like it's not that great of an army because they raged up queen level 40 she's able to take down the knee drag very easily as well as that balloon and she's going to continue to clear out multiple buildings there's also going to be a baby dragon on the opposite side of the base and you're going to notice that q7 is clearing exterior buildings that way everything focuses into one location and the valkyries do not stay on the outside of the base there is a pekka there's a barb king and a wall wrecker and we're working our way up towards the central location where the town hall is placed all the valkyries are going to be dropped as well as all of the bowlers and they're going to all work their way in behind this wall wrecker heading towards the core the valkyries are going to be targeted by that archer queen which are going to lure them into this compartment and we're going to have a rage spell dropped and the valkyries are going to go find themselves a double giant bomb placement and get weakened very bad wall wrecker is going to get all the way to the core another rage spell is going to be placed in this location to carry the bowlers to the back side of the base so this is one of the things that i do not like about this army where you have valkyries on the opposite side of the base and bowlers on the top side alone while the king and the queen have ventured off towards the right and we have this one army camp all by itself and on the top side of this base where the single target and an expo and two hidden tesels are located they've basically roasted all of the bowlers and roasted all of the valkyries so this is really showing you what i do not like about this army in particular the king his ability has to be used because he was being targeted by that single target inferno tower which retargets onto the pekka and takes it out but it gives the queen this high level queen some time to sneak in take down the hidden teslas take down the final inferno tower and then she will go in and take down the final expo without any additional assistance there's no other troops available so we're going to go ahead and speed this one up that way everything can travel across the base and take out that final army camp and you can see the army for yourself but be aware that this army is great it seems really powerful but valkyries are just a little unreliable even though they are so strong and for our final replay we're going to take a look at the pekka bobat attack strategy i was a little reluctant to show this replay not because of our attacker but because of the base itself this is a very weak base we have basically a town hall 9 with town hall 10 defenses we do have two inferno towers level two but they're both set to single target mode which basically cries either the witches or the bats and when you're using bat spells you need to plan on how you're going to get rid of the wizard towers are you going to freeze them or are the kill squad and the pekkas and bowlers going to take them out 
And so we have two wizard towers right here, which is going to be the zone where the P.E.K.K.A.s and bowlers come into the base. And we have two right here where we could possibly get our Barb King in or have a freeze spell to eliminate the wizard tower at the end. So let's go ahead and see how this plays out. Now, one of the things about this defensive base that I do not like is the fact that there is no space between these defenses and a queen walk is going to easily eliminate both of these defenses. So we're going to start out with a single balloon to look for seeking air mines to protect the healers. And then the queen's going to be placed with her healers. Now you will notice about this attack strategy that the bat spells will not be used on the beginning of the attack. They will be used at the end of the attack. So the king has been dropped. He's going to work his way into the base to take on this enemy queen which happens to be only level 16 that's kind of bad and then we have a baby dragon taking out some additional buildings to the far right to ensure that the pekkas go inside the base with this wall wrecker wall wreckers dropped a few bowlers are placed as well as another balloon the king has made his way inside the base his ability will be used and he will pull the clan castle troops out as well as killing off that queen and everything's going to work its way towards the core now there's going to be a rage spell placed to beef up the power of the pekkas as well as the bowlers that are going to come from that wall wrecker and they're going to destroy multiple defenses it looks like all the heavy hitting defenses are in the core of this base and they're going to get basically overrun by the pekkas and bowlers eliminating multiple things town hall expos inferno towers and hidden teslas which is basically all the major defenses on a town hall 10 base queen is going to eliminate the clan castle troops and we are home free so all four actually all five of the bat spells are going to be placed on the far right side of the screen because they are going to flank around the top side of the base where there is absolutely no splash damage wizard towers no wizard towers in this location so all bat spells are going to work around taking on the first air defense going into the mortar as well as on the opposite side of the base the queen is going to eliminate both an inferno tower but the main defense in the wizard tower so the first free spell is going to be used over there on an air defense and archer tower and then the bats are going to work their way around the bottom side to take out a frozen wizard tower so you got to time that perfectly with the freeze spell to freeze that wizard tower and allow the bats some time and the reason why i have not personally used this attack strategy just yet is because i only have level one bat spells and level one bat spells are not that great so hopefully you get the concept of these armies i understand the bases are not as strong as you might like to see but i just want to show you the armies themselves and that way you can possibly gain the concept and practice it for yourself let me go ahead and speed it up that way you can see it for yourself and if you enjoyed our content today make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us every single day turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you want to see more from the town hall 10 free to play series click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care